there's an old shop sign that's always intrigued me in Nottingham city centre. It's on Goosegate in Hockley and it reads the wireless stores. In Nottingham on a Saturday afternoon you can spot something you don't see in many other busy cities. There'll be lots of young people with ice skate bags slung over their shoulders. It's hard for most of us to imagine the dread of hearing an air raid siren wail through the streets. There's more than one pub that claims to be the oldest in Nottingham and it's hard to validate the facts and find a definite winner. It's hard to imagine now but for about seven decades there was a train station right in the heart of the city centre called Nottingham Victoria. Love them or loathe them, the trams are an established part of Nottingham city centre. A military life is often something that runs in families, and that was certainly true for Nottingham lad Stuart, born in July 1920. The Victorian era is considered by many the period of most significant invention and innovation in Britain. Nottingham has always been a melting pot, where people of different creeds, backgrounds and ethnicities mix relatively peacefully. You may not be familiar with Chesterfield Street, where M.O. Keaton was based. It was one of six main streets that were demolished or heavily modified to accommodate Broadmarsh Shopping Centre in the late 60s and early 70s. In 1901 the funeral was held for three local teenagers who committed suicide together by drowning themselves in the Trent. The Old Market Square in Nottingham is one of the most informative and straightforward place names you could hope for. We don't use the term St Peter's Square a lot nowadays, but you probably know the area I mean. It's the junction of Exchange Walk, St Peter's Gate, Albert Street, Houndsgate and Wheelergate. The Council House in Nottingham's Old Market Square is an icon of the city. In 1939, in a field in Beeston, a crowd of people laughed and cheered at the sight of two opposing teams riding donkeys. Bullwell is an area that's closer to Hucknall than Nottingham city centre. There's a black and white heritage plaque on the hotel on the corner of George Street and Carlton Street in Nottingham. The town centre was notoriously overcrowded and unhygienic, full of poor people drawn here by the boom in various industries. Nottingham is unusual for the number of caves and their varied uses. Everyday food. Bygone Nottingham. Three tables of everyday food. Bygone Nottingham. Three tables of everyday food. Bygone Nottingham. When you lean on the bar at one of the many established Nottingham pubs, you're standing where countless people have over the decades. Pubs were special because they lasted beyond generations, so the place where you met that charmer last night could be where your grand met your granddad several decades ago. Where you sat and slated your manager after work yesterday is where someone sat several decades ago and badmouthed their foreman from the rally or players factory. For the descendants of Rose and George, their very existence is thanks to that spontaneous trip to the bell and the persuasiveness of Aunt Elsie. There was reportedly an order of monks, the White Friars, based somewhere around modern Friar Lane or Beast Market Hill. Further north you pass the backs of several old terraced houses and some joker is painted on the side of an antiquated outside toilet, Baseford Bog, like it's a local tourist attraction. I always chuckle about that and wonder how many tens of thousands of tram passengers over the years must have seen it. Wartime is a strange time. Bullets are fired, grenades are thrown and bombs are dropped by people who in peacetime may be office workers, traffic wardens, butchers boys, shopkeepers or doctors. 
We tend to focus on the front lines when reflecting on the huge, catastrophic wars of yesteryear, but we should spare a thought too for those on the home front. The war caused a blackout strategy that saved lives in air raids, but cost lives accidentally like that of railway goods porter Edward Lovett. Among the general population there are no winners in a war, and I doubt anybody knows that more than Cyril. Their honeymoon was the very height of wartime luxury, a bike ride to Gunthorpe. Those days must have been strange for Wilf roaming the empty station. I wonder if he had an interest in photography and if there's a shoebox in an attic somewhere filled with photographs of the old station. I'd love to see them. We used to walk down to um, Woolnut North and we'd walk down um, Old Coach Road. I loved the fact that I walked down this road that wasn't really done up as a proper road. Uh, it was almost like a secret road. Uh, and uh, and you'd walk through woods and you'd walk over a stream uh, and uh, and it was this like little bit of wild heaven. You know, uh, but I loved it. This my little bit of wild ever, you know, uh, but I loved it. I'll do that sentence again to slightly f it up. S -s -s slightly f it up. I'll do that sentence again to slightly f it up. Slightly fed it up. I'll do that sentence again to slightly fed it up. Slightly fed it up. I'll do that sentence again to slightly fed it up. Slightly fed it up. To be rounded up, Frank and his friends were with a lab of boo. Frank and his friends were with a lab of boo. Were with a lab of boo. To be rounded up, Frank and his friends were with a lab of boo. Frank and his friends were with a lab of boo. Were with a lab of boo. Slightly fed it up. Throw with a lap of boo. Throw with a lap of boo. I'll do that sentence again to slightly fed it up. Throw, 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 throw with a lap of boo. Oh, what? Slightly fed it up. Throw with a lap of boo. Oh, what? Slightly fed it up. Throw with a lap of boo. Didn't know whether that was country or county, I'll start again. Yeah, I'll start again. Didn't know whether that was country or county, I'll start again. Yeah, I'll start again. Oh, what? Yeah, I'll start again. Slightly fed it up. Oh, I'll start again. Slightly fed it up. Oh, I'll start again. Slightly fed it up. Oh, I'll start again. Throw with a lap of boo. The, the Germans almost killed me back then. It could have been the last casualty of the war. The, 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 the last casualty of the war. I actually found a gas mask, put it on my head. The Germans almost killed me. Could have, could have, could have, could have been the last casualty of the war. Charles and Cyril would often go cycling together. Charles with one arm and Cyril with one working leg. A sight for sore eyes indeed. Charles with one arm and Cyril with one working leg. A, 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 a sight for sore eyes indeed. A sight for sore eyes indeed. Charles with one arm and Cyril with one, 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 one working leg. Charles with one arm and Cyril with one, 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 one working leg. One, 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 one working leg. One, 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 one working leg.
Frank, Carol with an E, Cyril, George and Rose, Wilf, Stuart, Willie, Leah, Ethel, Mary and Ada, Edward, the Pearsons, Mary, Harwood, Henry, Everyday Folk in Bygone Nottingham. Share These Streets is put together by researcher Danielle Etchers and me, Scott Taylor, the general caretaker bloke. Huge thanks to city archaeologist Scott Lomax, Henry Normal, Steve Oliver, Nottingham music producer Many Elephants, David from NG4 Online, Emma Lee, Ian Marsden, Diane Pearson, Kate Gavahan, Satpal Kaur, Tiny T. Special thanks to The Haunted Guy and Key and Tony for allowing us to use their brilliant music. 